Hey, let me hear that, Jeff. Yeah. I get the bands, count the blue cheese, I do that for fun. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. If you haven't already, go hit that subscribe button, hit the like button. Let's get right into the video. In this one, we're going to be predicting the entire NFL season, division standings, playoff predictions, MVP, defensive player of the year, all that good stuff, and finally ending with the Super Bowl. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. What are your guys' predictions? Starting off here with the AFC East, I think the Buffalo Bills are going to be the best team in football in the regular season. They're going to be hot going into the playoffs. Josh Allen is going to be cooking. This team is insane. Adding Von Miller as well to that defense that was already elite. They're going to be, if not the best, one of the best teams in all of football. Easily winning the division. I have the Dolphins getting better. 10-7. and seven. We'll see if they can make the playoffs with that record at 10-7. and seven. Patriots, I don't think they have enough weapons. They're still good. They're not going to be terrible. Mac Jones is a solid quarterback, but I just can't see them making the playoffs. And the Jets, we just haven't seen enough from Zach Wilson. He just got hurt again. Very injury prone. I need to see more out of him before I give them any more wins. So this is going to be the standings for the AFC East. Moving on to the AFC North. No one is going to be underrating the Bengals. We saw what they can do. Jamar Chase is one of the top receivers, premier receivers in the league. T. Higgins is also really good. Tyler Boyd. That offense is going to be top of the league. They're going to win the division at 11-6 here. I do have the Ravens getting better. They were decimated with injuries, but I do think the loss of Hollywood Brown is going to affect them. There's, they still might get into the playoffs. Steelers, they'll be decent. They don't have a quarterback. And the Browns, we don't know what's going to happen with Deshaun Watson. So I'm going to assume he's not going to play. They'll be last in the division. Moving on to the AFC South here. I think this is going to be one of the weaker divisions in all of football. The Titans, very well coached. I think they'll have no problems. They might struggle a little bit at first, but they won't have any problems winning this division. They will regress a little bit from their 12-5 and record last season. But Derrick Henry's a beast. If he can stay healthy, I can see them winning the division easily. But I do have the Jaguars getting a lot better. Getting rid of Urban Meyer was very helpful. Doug Peterson is a great coach. We saw what he did with Nick Foles, Carson Wentz. He almost got Carson Wentz an MVP. Won a Super Bowl, so he's a great coach. I think they'll be a lot better. I think they'll be better than the Colts. I like Matt Ryan. I just don't know if I love him. That team tends to be injury prone as well. Don't love the pieces around him. I think they'll finish third. And the Texans, they're still rebuilding. They don't have a lot of great pieces. So yeah, they, they'll be last in this division. And then we get to the AFC West, which is by far the toughest division in the entire league. I don't think anyone can argue that. Every team added pieces here. Every team got better. I guess the Chiefs lost Tyreek Hill, but they're still amazing. And they have Patrick Mahomes, who's a generational quarterback. But you look at all the quarterbacks in the division. Justin Herbert, amazing young talent. Patrick Mahomes, he's already won a Super Bowl at such a young age. Broncos adding Russell Wilson, an elite quarterback. Derek Carr is a really good quarterback. They have Devontae Adams as well. This I can see going a plenitude of ways along with injuries, but I love the Chargers. What they did with no defense practically last season was incredible. One play short of making the, the playoffs, I think they're going to be a lot better. I think they'll shock a lot of people. I have them being the second best team behind the Bills in the AFC, which is loaded. Don't get me wrong, that division is super hard, but I think the Chargers can win it. Chiefs will still be very good. I think the Broncos need to add some more pieces on defense. Still be solid, but the Raiders here are going to finish last, but they're a super good team. Moving on to the NFC, we've got the NFC East here. Last year, the Cowboys winning the division. I think that changes this year. They lost Amari Cooper. They lost a bunch of defensive pieces. I don't think they'll be as good, but they'll be better than Washington and New York. Carson Wentz is okay. I think he's an upgrade. They'll win more games, but I, I can't see them winning the division unless major injuries happen. Eagles are going to be really good. Adding A.J. Brown, Devontae Smith is a really good player. 
That defense is looking nice. They're going to protect Jalen Hurts better. I think they'll win 11 games. Could win 10, but I can see them winning 11 easily. I think they'll win the division, and the Giants will still be terrible. So, nothing new. This was probably the easiest division to outline here as the Packers are going to dominate the NFC North. Vikings might put up a fight, but I can't really see it. I don't trust Kirk Cousins. Rodgers is better than every quarterback in this division easily. I think they're going to win 12 and 5, or they're going to go 12 and 5, win 12 games just because of their division. I, I can't see them losing more than two games in the division. Probably could go undefeated. So really, they only need to split with everyone else. I think that's pretty easy for Rodgers. And we've got Brady coming back after his false retirement, easily winning the division at 11 and six. I think they could win 12, but they might want to rest Brady for the playoffs. That's why I think the Panthers are a game behind. Not that they're that good in comparison, but do think they can win 10 games, go 10 and seven with Baker Mayfield. If Darnold plays, I think they're gonna be fourth in the division. I just like Baker a lot better. Saints, I think are good. Jameis Winston, I don't trust though. I don't like Ian Book. I don't, it really comes down to their quarterback. I don't love their quarterback. I like Baker than any, anyone else they have. Falcons are gonna be pretty bad. They're in a rebuild, so trading away Matt Ryan. They're gonna be one of the worst teams in the NFL, but I have the Bucks here winning the division. Now this one might be a shocker to a lot of people. Maybe not, but I've got the Niners winning the division over the Rams and the Cardinals. I don't think the Cardinals will be as good. Hopkins is gonna be out a large part of the season. They did add Hollywood Brown. I don't know what that's going to add to the Cardinals. They lost a lot of pieces on defense. I think they'll be decent, but not good enough to get to the playoffs. The Rams, I think it's super hard to go back to back in this era. I don't think they'll make a deep run. I do think they're still a really good team, but I think the Niners have a better team around Trey Lance. Given if Trey Lance is terrible, I can see the Niners finishing third. But if Trey Lance is just decent or good enough, I, I can easily see the Niners winning this division. I think the Seahawks are going to be easy wins for the rest of the division. They're going to be one of the worst teams in the NFL. It might be a long shot, but I think Trey Lance has what it takes from what I've seen to win this division. Here are my NFL awards for this season. I think Josh Allen is going to go crazy with that added defense. He's going to go crazy. They're going to be the best team in the regular season. He's going to win an MVP. Defensive player of the year, Micah Parsons is going to be a beast. He's going to have to do a lot more for the Cowboys. I think that's going to result in a lot more numbers. And he's just going to destroy out there. So Debo Samuel, offensive player of the year. He's going to go crazy with Trey Lance. If all goes as planned, of course, Trey Lance has to do something for that to happen. But... I also like Traylon Burks for the Titans to replace A.J. Brown. Similar players, I think he's going to put up numbers. And then we've got Sauce Gardner, who I really like on the Jets. I think he can do some damage as a rookie. With all that being said, here are the seedings for the playoffs in the AFC. This is by far going to be the tougher conference. Even just to make the playoffs, I left some really good teams out of the playoffs. Dolphins didn't make it, the Patriots bunch of other teams Broncos Ravens and the Chiefs sneaking in there Titans Bengals Chargers and the Bills in the top four Bills being a super solid team along with the Chargers let's see what they can do in the playoffs now looking at the NFC I think it's a weak, weaker conference I don't think the Panthers or the Cowboys would make it in the AFC but I do have them here Packers are going to be the number one seed again Hopefully this time they can actually get it done. Tampa Bay, San Francisco, and Philadelphia, also the division winners. So let's see what each of these teams can do in the playoffs. In the wild card round, Denver is going to be at the Chargers, and I've got the Chargers winning in a close one, 21 to 27. Division matchups, anything can happen. I could see the Broncos winning, but I just love the Chargers too much. Ravens at the Bengals. I don't think the Ravens have enough weapons, but they'll keep it competitive against the Bengals. Bengals move on. 
And I do think the Chiefs would be a way better team than the Titans. I just don't trust Ryan Tannehill in the playoffs. So I think Mahomes and the Chiefs will get that done pretty easily. On the NFC side of things, the Panthers at the Bucks. I think the Bucks take care of business pretty easily there. Rematch of last year's matchup, Cowboys this time at the Niners. I love the Niners, how this team is assembled. I think they have one of the best teams in the league. We don't know what Trey Lance is going to be, but he doesn't have to be amazing. He doesn't have to be great. He can just be good, and this team will be amazing. Rams at the Eagles. I like the Eagles. I just don't trust Jalen Hurts. I think the Rams have more experience getting to the Super Bowl. So I like the Rams. Let's move on to the next round. And here in the divisional round, we've got the Chiefs at the Bills. Another rematch. That game last year was insane. I think we'll have another high scoring game. But I do have the Bills winning this time. I think the loss of Tyreek Hill is really going to affect the Chiefs in the playoffs. I think they'll be able to beat mid tier to good teams, but not elite teams like the Bills. So I'll take the Bills there. Bengals at the Chargers. Herbert versus Burrow. I would love to see that matchup. But I think the Chargers have a better setup team, better defense, more, I wouldn't say more weapons, but more versatility and a deeper running back room. So I like the Chargers. And in the divisional round, we've got the Rams at the Packers. I think the Packers are going to be able to put it together. I think they'll have one of the best defenses in the entire league. I think the Rams, it's going to be hard for them to repeat. They could do it, but I, I just like the Packers here. I Even the pressure of having Devontae Adams out there, I think, cost Green Bay a little bit. They were looking for Adams a little too much, didn't really call good enough plays. So I think it might actually help them in the playoffs. Maybe I'm crazy, but I like the Packers here. 49ers and the Bucks. I can see this going either way. I just I'm going to gamble on Trey Lance. I'm going to say his arm and what Jimmy couldn't do is going to put them over the top and we'll have a Packers Niners matchup in the next round. Championship round here and the Chargers are going to be at the Bills. I think it being at the Bills is going to be a super difficult challenge for Herbert. That being said, I do like the Chargers. I think they compare well to the Bills. This is a toss up. Personally, I just like the Chargers better, but two elite quarterbacks, defenses that are good, a lot of weapons. This could go either way, but I'm taking the Chargers. And we've got yet another rematch, this time in the championship round. Packers and the Niners. Of course, we all saw what happened last year in the snow. 49ers came in there and beat the Packers. Not by a lot. Took a blocked punt. I think this time the Packers will play it a lot less conservative. I think they'll have better plays. Hopefully it's not in the snow. If there's better weather, I think they can get it done. I think it'll still be low scoring, but Trey Lance versus Aaron Rodgers. Aaron Rodgers has that experience, and I think he'll get to his second Super Bowl. And this Super Bowl would be super fun to watch. Chargers against the Packers, two really good teams. The next generation versus this current generation's best quarterbacks. Rodgers versus Herbert. I think the Chargers have more weapons. I love Green Bay's defense. We still don't know how the Chargers defense is going to stack up with the entire league. But adding Khalil Mack and JC Jackson I think is really good. In a close one, I'll have the Chargers winning by a field goal. So that is going to do it. Let me know what you guys thought in the comments. Check out all the other videos. Subscribe if you enjoyed. See you in the next one.